This is a story of two men and a boat. Thomas Gokoski, an aerospace engineer from Warsaw University of Technology with a master's degree in advanced lightweight structures. And Stanislav Sadowski, who has a master's degree in mechanical engineering and technology, specializing in the development of new technologies. In 1984, Stan started his own business that, among other things, produced the world's most advanced batteries for heavy duty applications. Have you ever traveled on an electric bus? It probably had Stan's batteries in it. One thing united these two men, their love of the ocean and of spending time on yachts. They both observed the same problem though. Yachts that are fast tend to be noisy, uncomfortable and emit foul smelling emissions. Yachts on the other hand that are silent, comfortable and emit no emissions are always very slow. And that is where the boat comes into it. They decided to combine their knowledge base and experience and produce an electric yacht without compromises. A boat that would lead to one of the most advanced and innovative product lines on the market today. And here she is, the Cialia 57 Deep Silence, a yacht that is absolutely the first of her kind. We'll see what makes her so very special in a few moments, but I don't want to get too caught up in the technical details of how she works just yet, because I have to say, she is a very beautiful yacht on her own, even without that very cool and very modern power package. Starting at the transom, where a large swim platform allows very easy access to the sea and a spacious sun pad hides a transom garage for a 3.3 meter tender. The seating area that you see forward of that has a clever feature in that you can face the sofa aft and use it for dining or face it forward to enjoy the ride of the yacht. Moving forward to port, we have an outside galley with a bar a fridge and even a cool box. And this faces a very inviting looking chaise long. When I first came to look at the Cialia and take notes, we all spent most of our time in the seating area. I think that this is the natural place that most people will congregate under a canvas top that can be opened or closed. The helm station really took my attention though. Just look at how clean, simple and functional it is. The screen on the right is predominantly for navigational functions, whilst the screen on the left gives you all of the parameters that you need. Battery levels, tank levels, you can monitor the entire vessel from here. The boat can be driven in three modes too. Normal, limited and max power. Limited is very useful when you are maneuvering or close to other yachts. Normal, of course, for normal conditions and max when you really want the maximum power. Below deck and you are greeted by a lounge area with a forward double bunk. The table lifts and lowers. And the television sets that you see here can also be connected to the helm monitoring system. To the starboard side is an inside galley with a dishwasher and a microwave. And across the port is a surprisingly large bathroom that even has a rainfall showerhead. This bathroom actually doubles up both as a day head and also as an ensuite to the master cabin. And what a master cabin it is, using the full beam of the vessel to have a very generously proportioned area, complete with plenty of wardrobe space, lots of natural sunlight, and even this neat vanity unit. Stan, 
Stan and Thomas were eager to tell me that they were motivated to build a good boat that they could enjoy using. It wasn't so much born from a desire to save the planet as a desire to have a great yacht that they could enjoy using. One that would have high performance, but that wouldn't deafen them every time that they hit the revs. One that they could go for a swim around without taking in mouthfuls of generator exhaust. And to do that, they would have to benefit from Stan's incredible experience in the field of heavy duty batteries. The batteries on Deep Silence, in fact, generate a colossal 800 kilowatt hours of power and are connected to two electric motors that in turn power the props. A range extender has also been added to this boat, which is essentially a variable speed generator that allows you to recharge the entire battery bank in 45 minutes or power the propulsion through the electric motors. There. Simple, isn't it? When I said that to Stan, he leant forward in his seat and said to me, that would be a mistake to say that. This is the result of decades of research and development that have led us to this point that we can do this. He then went on to give me a masterclass on the subject of battery power management. The reason that batteries can sometimes have problems which are then very well publicized, is when they are mismanaged, when they are abused. There is a safety protocol for sailing yachts. There is a safety protocol for motor yachts. And not surprisingly, there's a safety protocol for electric yachts. The Cialia 57 is equipped with a highly sophisticated ship management system known as an SMS. The SMS will distribute power from the batteries to the various parts of the yacht that need it, whether propulsion or hotel load. But it will also be sensitive to any abuse of the batteries. If misuse could result in overheating, they will reduce the power output so that they cannot overheat. This management system even allows you to leave the yacht attached to shore power for a night a week, even a year if you wanted to. And when the batteries are fully charged, they will disconnect so that no harm can come to them. The system even takes into account the temperature of the seawater that amazingly enough can affect the way that the batteries charge. But whilst a powerful battery bank can ensure silent running and a lack of vibration, it is not enough alone to ensure good performance. And that is where Thomas's experience in engineering and specialization in lightweight structures came in. He approached the world famous design company Repack to craft a hull that would have a very fine entry into the water and taper out with distinctive chine lines. As a matter of fact, if you look carefully at the Cialia logo, you'll see it reflected there. Carbon fibre was used for the construction of the yacht, strong, reliable and above all light. And care was taken with every piece of equipment to ensure that not only reliability but also weight was taken into account. The result is just magnificent. A yacht easily capable of speeds up to 26 knots that runs in complete silence. Wow! Something else there. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. It's literally up and out and... Wow, that's, that's really impressive. Twenty five point seven. And we could have ended the video there, but Stan and Thomas wanted to build a yacht that anybody could use, something really simple to operate. And to demonstrate just how simple she is to operate, they let me take their helm. I'm actually really glad that they did. There's a lot more to say about this boat once you actually experience running her, how smoothly, how consistently she delivers power. 
how well she gets onto the plane and how quickly she gets onto the plane. You do see yachts of this size where the bow is sticking up and the captain's having to battle with the trim tabs to bring it back down again. None of that here. This yacht lifts up out of the water almost immediately and glides along, planes along, absolutely level with the water. It's remarkable. She was sea trialed in the harsh conditions of the Baltic Sea, although today in the south of France it's relatively calm, I have to say. But also she's accustomed to long passages. In fact, she came down to Monaco from Barcelona. And possibly the most exciting thing about Deep Silence is that it is the first in a series of new yachts that will use this technology and build upon it. This is not just the presentation of a new yacht to the market, but rather an entirely new company who believe that real luxury is not only about gorgeous design and prestigious materials, but also about high performance in silence and without emitting noxious gases around you. These are not yachts built by designers. They are not yachts built by investors trying to make as much money as they can. They are beautiful yachts designed and built by two technology driven individuals who just wanted to enjoy their time on board in peace and quiet without sacrificing speed. They want electric yachts without compromise. And in my opinion, I think they may have started a trend that will make waves in the yachting industry.